Welcome back. Well, it's that time of year where we're starting to see fawn and other young animals starting to venture out, getting out in the woods, and we're on your side this morning with a reminder you don't want to come in contact with those animals. We've got Lieutenant Carrie Bradford with the Alabama Department of Conservation and Natural Resources to join us this morning. Uh, yeah, it's that time of year. You're going to start seeing a lot of those babies coming out. What, what do we do if we come across a fawn? Uh, that's a very good question, uh, Russell. So uh, what we encourage folks to do is to uh, leave them where they are. Uh, it's against the law to possess wildlife. So uh, a lot of people will find a fawn that's by itself. That's the you way. You think, oh, it's little Bambi. Yeah, it's been, a, it's been yeah. abandoned. It's been orphaned. Yeah. That's the way nature works. The, the doe will, will leave the fawn there. She will clean it up, lick it, and take care of it. And then she will go and uh, feed and rest. And she'll come back and, and feed that fawn. But in that meantime, the fawn lays on the ground. And uh, its defense mechanism is those little white spots. Uh, it's yeah. camouflage, and it just kind of lays there quietly and, and hides. I mean, that's um, their way of... Uh, teaching their young ones to grow up, I guess. Yes, they, <laughs> they just sit there and then the mom will come back. But when people find them and they're by themselves, they think they've been orphaned and they think they need to well, intervene. So what will happen if you take in a fawn? So if you take in a fawn, it, it generally will imprint on humans and, uh, and then it becomes dependent on humans. Um, fawns don't do well with cow milk, anything that, that you would instinctively try to feed the fawn. It, it doesn't do well uh, as that part of being their, their diet. Uh, they need their mother's milk. So uh, the best thing to do is to leave it there. And then within an hour, two hours, three hours, the, the doe will come back. And I would imagine uh, once they get older and they're a deer, that, that's probably not great to have a deer. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well, and they can be very dangerous, yeah. especially during uh, the rut that time of year, um, especially mature bucks. They, become, uh, they can become very, very dangerous as pets. Um, yeah. So we... we Okay. Discourage so leave that them strongly. Look yes. at them from afar. Exactly. All right. Leave well, those fawns where you find them. It's not just fawn though. What are, right. You also say we got some cubs, some yes, bears coming. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, I know yeah. I don't want to mess with those yeah. guys. If you have a social media, uh, um, you know, uh, profile, you don't have to look far on what's happening in your area to see yeah. all of the bear posts um, that are hitting uh, Facebook there and Instagram. Yeah, there's uh, one right there. So we have, uh, we have bears moving through the area this time of year. The, the young males are uh, out looking for, for girlfriends and things of that nature, uh, expanding their range. So uh, it's not uncommon this time of year to, uh, to see bear traveling uh, throughout the state, uh, through your neighborhood, yeah. through places like that. And it's important to know what to do if you encounter one. Well, I've seen the movie Revenant with <laughs> Leonardo <laughs> DiCaprio. You don't want to mess with a cub because mama's probably not far yeah, away. She's, she's not, not far away. That's exactly right. They're, they're defensive of their cubs, uh, understandably. Uh, so if you were to encounter a bear, what you would do is uh, you would stand up tall, uh, make, some, make a little noise and just move away slowly. Yeah. Um, you uh, want to give it an avenue of escape. Um, and just back away. That's Man, that's be our scary. best technique. Yeah, <laughs> they say don't make direct eye contact yeah. with a bear. Gosh, uh, it'd be hard not to. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> now you see, like in these uh, uh, the reality shows, they start screaming, "Hey bear! Hey bear!" Yeah, Do hey we bear, need to get as loud as possible? So that's one of the things. If you know that there's a bear in your area, we encourage people if you're going to go outside at night to move the trash cans or anything like that to make some noise. You don't want to just happen up, one and happen up on one and startle it. You want to make some noise. A lot of times that'll frighten it away. Okay. Uh, turn the lights, uh, switch on on the outside. And All right. Those kind of things. Keep your food. This is a very simple thing. They're looking for an easy meal. Keep your pet food up. Keep your trash inside until it's, you know, uh, trash pickup day. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. And we're going to have to have you come back because I'm starting to see a lot of snakes in my yard. <laughs> I don't like those guys. <laughs>